Julia Murray is a Canadian Olympian ski cross athlete, and before she hits the slopes, she does something two thirds of Canadians don't even think of. She puts on sunscreen. I know importance of sun protection even in the winter time. Um, my father didn't know. He was a he was a ski racer. He was on the Crazy Canucks team, and he was in the Olympics twice. And my my mother was a freestyle skier. So I've skied since I was two years old. And you know, my my father passed away when he was 37 years old. He developed a, an advanced form of skin cancer called melanoma, and he didn't know the risks. But now I I know I know the risks, and I can I can help prevent that. Murray says it's too late for her father, but not for the two-thirds of Canadians who don't wear sunscreen during the winter months. It's the reason why she teamed up with the Melanoma Network of Canada to urge families to look at the winter sun in a different light and take appropriate protective measures. Annette Sear, chair of the Melanoma Network of Canada, is telling people not to let the winter's cold sun fool you and that any skin that is exposed needs to be protected year-round. Canadians embrace winter. However, most of us do not realize that we need to protect exposed skin in winter months as well as summer months. This is because there is a higher intensity of UV radiation in winter months than summer months. The radiation increases by eightfold, that from a snow-covered field than what you would find from water in summer months. Snow reflects as much as 80% of UV radiation. Compare this to the amount reflected by water, 10%, or dry beach sand, 15%. Dr. Teresa Petrella, head of the melanoma group at Sunnybrook's Odette Cancer Center, says overexposure to UV radiation is dangerous and can cause serious health effects. Overexposure of UV radiation can lead to melanoma, a rare but deadly form of skin cancer. Unlike other cancers, melanoma may be visible on the skin, and it can pretty well happen anywhere on the body, but most commonly on your back, face, legs, or scalp. It usually presents as an existing mole, or can present as a new spot on the skin, which can be brown, black, or pink. It's important to look for any changes in any existing moles that appear on the skin. The important thing is if it's caught early, melanoma survival is very high. The incidence of melanoma has more than tripled over the last 30 years and continues to increase. It is one of the few cancers to affect young adults and is the second most common cancer amongst 15 to 34-year-olds. For more information, speak with your physician.